Hi, guys. Um, thank you all for having me tonight. I, in my good fortune, have had the opportunity to sit in a lot of rooms with a lot of talented people, but I don't think ever a room so empowering as, and impressive as the group that is here with me today. Truly, truly. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've actually seen a couple of you fly, because to me, if you're airborne and you're not screaming for your life, you're definitely flying. That's just, that's the facts. Um, as some of you may know from my very public battle with pinworms, I am the mother of two tiny dragons. Um, my eldest daughter is five, and she has spent the last month working on a um, less than perfect cartwheel in our backyard. And she hasn't quite nailed the don't aim to kick other people in the face part, but she's working on it, so she'll get there. Um, I know all of you, like her, started out in a backyard somewhere or on a makeshift balance beam on the back of your parents' couch because those are the places that big dreams begin to grow. So when I look at her attempting to kick her skinny little legs in the air, I can only hope that she will grow up to have the discipline and the strength, but mostly the emotional courage that you all possess today. Side note, if anyone is interested in private coaching, she could really use it. <laughs> um, <laughs> each night, okay, great, we have a taker. <laughs> um, Every night I read uh, a story to my daughters and currently we're in the middle of a book called Good Night Stories for Rebel Girls. Each page is devoted to a different extraordinary woman sharing their struggle and their rise. And as I read this book to my rebel girls, I am constantly reminded that women have been experiencing injustices since only the beginning of time. Um, <laughs> They've been enduring just little horrors that slip away and chip away at a person's um, belief in themselves. And women have been forced to spend so much of their time on earth simply rising above. Um, we're here tonight to shine a light and exemplify a group of stunning women who have endured immeasurable pain and have had the courage to fight against this unacceptable pattern of power and patriarchy. And they have been fighting hard for all of us, fighting the men that abuse them, but also, and maybe more importantly, fighting the silence. They were repeatedly ignored by a system that was created to protect them. Society is a fantastic anesthetist. It's very good at turning away from the grotesque to plugging its ears during scary stories and keeping quiet on secrets that should be made loud. The women in this room are taking back what was stolen from them their dignity, their confidence, and their ability to come together as a community and fight. And now their cohesion is paying dividends. Martin Luther King said the moral arc of the universe is long but bends towards justice. And although we have a long way to go, our honorees tonight have inched us closer to the end of the rainbow. And we all have a role to play. We all have the means to support this effort. It requires the fortitude to speak up for ourselves and those around us who may not have a voice. The Foundation for Global Sports Development is doing their part. They are acting on the courage of tonight's honorees and they've announced a program in their honor. As you heard briefly, in partnership with America's largest and longest running anti-child abuse nonprofit, Child Help, GSD has underwritten a program called Speak Up, Be Safe for Athletes. Because of the women you're about to meet, this program will be launched nationwide with an eye towards global initiatives in order to protect the bodies, the minds, and the spirits of young athletes through prevention education. This is GSD's humble gift to the gymnasts who inspired them to create lasting change. But what is unique about this particular initiative is that many of the gymnasts themselves will be directly involved. These women are going beyond the courtroom and are sharing their journeys to educate others about the warning signs of abuse. They are committed to giving every young athlete the opportunity to pursue his or her dreams in safety and in security. Earlier, David mentioned that GSD's humanitarian award is usually given to an individual, but fixing a broken status quo means we need to change our thinking as well as our actions. One story is no more impactful than, or necessary than another. We have lessons to glean from every and all, and we are ready to do so. 
I started earlier tonight by saying that I'm a mother, so I have an indescribable gratitude for all of you in this room who prioritized the future over the past and put the livelihood of those who will come after you in large part above your own. You've given all of our children a safer place to live and set a pretty badass example to follow. And as a mom and as a human, I truly thank you.